Hello class. In this video, we will walk through the steps of adding fire effects in the forest. This is the final result that we will create. First, you need to make sure that your background footage has good contrast. For instance, in this footage, the leaves on the ground drop sharp shadows, and that's very good for tracking. Let's import the forest video into After Effects. Drop the forest video onto the comp icon to create a new composition with it. This way, the composition's dimensions and frame rates match the video. Go to the menu, Animation, and apply Track Camera. The computer will analyze the video. Once it's done, you will see these colorful dots on the video. They are the tracking points. Click on Create Camera. It will create a 3D camera that will simulate the camera movement. To let the tracking points appear again, you'll have to go to the effects under the video and select the 3D camera tracker effect. Now, let's create a reference point on the tree. Click on one of the tracking points on the first tree, right click, and select Create Null. Rename this null object to Track Position 1. It will be used as a reference point for the fire. Now, let's import the fire and smoke footage. Drop the first fire into the scene. Select the Anchor Point tool, and move the anchor point of the video to the bottom of the fire. Then, check on the 3D layer. Select both the track null and the fire, hit the P key to show the position channel. Select the position channel of the track null, copy, then, select the position channel of the fire and paste. Right click on the fire, go to blending mode, and set to screen. The screen blending mode will only show the bright colors on the footage. Hit the S key on the keyboard, and scale down the fire. Go to the end frame of the scene, hit the P key for the position channel, and create a keyframe. Hit the R key for rotation, and create a keyframe on the orientation channel. Rotate the fire along the axis, and move it to match the outline of the tree. Hit the S key for scale. Here you will see that the flame is supposed to go up, not go down. We can simply flip the video, and turn off the link option. Change the scale X to a negative value and it will flip the video. Now, if we go to the time where this tree first appears in the scene, you will see that the fire is off the tree. We can simply create a second position keyframe, and slightly adjust its position. If the orientation is also off, add a second keyframe and adjust it. Now, the fire should stay on the first tree. We will repeat this process to add fire onto the second and the third trees. Select the 3D camera tracker effect under the video, then, select a tracking point on the second tree. Right click, and create a null object. Rename the null to track position 2. Drop in the second fire, and adjust its anchor point. Change the fire video to a 3D layer, then, copy the position of the track null, and paste it onto the fire video. Right click on the fire, and change its blending mode to screen. Since the fire video has a shorter runtime than the scene, we can let it to start at a later time. Go to the end frame of the scene, rotate the fire, scale it down, and move it to match the outline of the tree. Go to the time where this tree first appears in the scene. Adjust the fire's position and rotation value to match the tree. Select the 3D camera tracker effect under the video, then, select a tracking point on the third tree. Right click, and create a null object. Rename the null to track position 3. Drop in the third fire, and adjust its anchor point. Change the fire video to a 3D layer, then, copy the position of the track null, and paste it onto the fire video. Right click on the fire, and change its blending mode to screen. Rotate the fire, scale it down. Go to the end frame of the scene, and move it to match the outline of the tree.
Go to the time where this tree first appears in the scene. Adjust the fire's position and rotation value to match the tree. Now, we've done adding the fires. In the next step, we will add some burn texture on the trees. Drop the first burn texture under the first fire video. We will keep its anchor point in the center. Change its blending mode to multiply and it will only show the dark colors. Check on the 3D layer. Copy the position of the first tracking null and paste it onto the burn texture. Scale it down and rotate it to match the bark. You can also uncheck the link icon to be able to scale the image along each axis. Go to the end frame of the scene, hit the P key for the position channel, and create a keyframe. Go to the time where the tree first appears in the scene, and adjust the position and rotation of the burn texture if needed. We will repeat this process to add burn texture onto the second and the third trees. Drop the second burn texture under the second fire video. Right click on the layer and change its blending mode to multiply. Check on the 3D layer. Copy the position of the second tracking null and paste it onto the burn texture. And scale it down. Uncheck the link icon so you can scale the image along each axis. Go to the time where the tree first appears in the scene and adjust the position and rotation of the burn texture if needed. If the burn texture is too intense, you can hit the T key for transparency and lower down the layer's opacity value. Drop the third burn texture under the third fire video. Move its anchor point to the edge of the pattern. Check on the 3D layer. Copy the position of the third tracking null and paste it onto the burn texture and change its blending mode to multiply. Hit the P key for the position channel and create a keyframe. Go to the time where the tree first appears in the scene and adjust the position and rotation of the burn texture if needed. Drop the smoke footage in. Right click and change its blending mode to screen. We can invert the smoke's move direction by flip its scale value. Next, we will add fire sparks. Drop the spark footage on top of the second fire video. Move its anchor point to the bottom to where the sparks enter the frame. Check on the 3D layer. Copy the position of the second track null and paste it onto the spark footage. Right click and change the sparks blending mode to screen. Scale it down, but make sure the top of the spark footage exits the frame. We'll repeat this process and add the next spark footage into the scene. Now, we will add some glow effects to the fires. Drop the glow effect onto the first fire video. Play with the setting to get the best result. Once you are satisfied with the result, you can copy the glow effect and paste it onto the other fires and sparks. Now, we can export the video. Go to File. Export, add to Adobe Media Encoder. Keep the format as H264 and it will do a great job of compressing the video. Set the export location and click on the green icon to start rendering. When it's done, you'll find your video under the AIM folder. That's the whole workflow of adding fire effects in the forest.